I think that's a knee-jerk reaction from the president, who doesn't like, as much as he doesn't like the idea of having overseas uh, military installations, he wants to ensure that if they're forced to leave, I suppose that, that they recoup something uh, from it. I, I think this is a knee-jerk reaction. I think it's very ill-advised. It, it, it really demonstrates to Iraqis that um, that the U.S. is seeing this as very transactional, that they're not long-term security partners, which I think has been the U.S. policy and strategy for, for many, many years. So I, I, I want to, you know, say that, that this is a plan that's going to be implemented by the U.S., but, but I do think that it, there is a good deal of frustration, and that frustration goes back to the raid, uh, storming of the U.S. Embassy just a few days ago, which sure. prompted the killing of Qasem Soleimani. So I think uh, you, you're seeing from the president the, this frustration kind of boiling over of, of, of folks being ungrateful for U.S. commitments. Okay. And Henry, you're talking about this prospect of Iran retaliating being very high. The question is, in what shape do they do this? I mean, what kind of action do they take? And overall, I understand at Eurasia Group, you're looking at the chance of a war at 40 percent, which is still below 50-50 here, but Hi. limited conflict at 70 percent. So what does that limited conflict look like? So, right. It's a very important question to delve into and be clear. I think the, the, the word war gets a lot of uh, attention because it's not very well defined, frankly. So what, what I think we're, we're really focused on and our, our base case is small tit for tat over, over the coming month. I think that's going to involve three types of, of actions from the Iranian side. First, that includes attacks on U.S. bases in Iraq. They're going to be more substantial than what we've seen thus far with, with rockets. They'll be more serious. Second, I think there will be Iranian pressure in the Gulf to disrupt more oil shipments, as, as we saw in, in May, June, and July. I think that will return. And then third, the Iranians are masters of asymmetric response. So they, you know, we, we have no idea. It's impossible to predict where they're going to hit somewhere around the world. But I think we should be bracing for the fact that they will find a less well-defended U.S. embassy, U.S. military installation, and attack there. They have a long track record of terrorist attacks overseas. And so I think those three areas in Iraq, the Gulf mm -hmm. and somewhere else, to be frank, um, are, are what we should expect. And, and that's under our base case. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.